What's up guys? This is Shauna aka Mrs. Wealthy Wallet coming to you for another week. Hey guys, I have been writing down some questions in my bullet journal so I have been wanting to ask you all. So I'm getting ready to start a new series and it starts right now. Hey guys, it's Shauna uh, aka Mrs. Wealthy Wallet. Now with my journey to getting to zero on the student loan, it is opening up a wonderful door for me that is like basically another mortgage payment that is about to be freed up for us. And with that, it created a series of questions that I want to ask you all. So my first question to you all is if you paid off all of your debt today, what would you do with your money? Now I know what I would do with it, but I want to know what you all will do with your money. So please comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe guys, subscribe. Um, yeah, but comment below what would you do if you paid off all of your debt today? Now when I get finished with this student loan come next July, cross your fingers, first thing I'm going to do is go back to my 401k at work and contribute more. Second thing I'm going to do is start saving larger funds. So I'm going to start saving for that three to six month emergency fund and I'm going to start saving for more travel. Yeah, that is what I would do with my money. So 401k, emergency fund, and travel. <laughs> but we also need some work around the house so we're definitely going to be squeezing that in as well. But what would you all do with your money? Can you let me know below? Um, I'm going to go ahead and put up my student loan total for now. Guys, I'm going to decrease another thousand in the next week or two. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think. I think it's next week. Not this, not this week, but the following week. I'm going to go down another thousand. So I am really hitting this hard. I'm trying my best to clear $20,000 in one year. Y'all cheer me on please. That is all I have as far as the question goes for everybody else who's just around because you all love the channel. <laughs> Let's talk. Uh, so this week was a very busy week as I told you all last week that I was working on my shop. I got my business cards today and I have open the shop. I have put one product in and I'm getting ready to put the rest in now. I actually need this camera because I'm taking pictures of products and putting them on the website. Um, I don't expect anything today or in the next couple days. I'm going to be working towards um, getting my Instagram up and getting um, and getting more exposure. So just trying to get out there with my Instagram, make sure I start posting and that kind of stuff. So another thing I use my bullet journal for is to continue to work on shop ideas and try to glean any information I can from watching other people's studios on YouTube. And that is basically it. Um, I'm trying some things. I'm trying not to take on too many things, but I'm going to try a habit stack. One of the habit stacks that I am doing is going to be very interesting because I'm going to try to wake up early and work out first thing in the morning. For those who don't know, I work from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday, which means that I get up at 5.15 in the morning to get ready to go to work. So that means that I am now going to have to get up at like 4.30 in order to work out and then get ready for work due to the fact that my workout I believe is about 25 minutes. I usually do Jillian Michaels 30 minute, 30 day shred and it's about a 25 to 27 minute depending on which level you do workout. Then I got to pass out on the floor. I am so serious about this guys. I do the workout, lay on the floor until I can move again, and then I go and take a shower. So I'm going to be trying to do that every morning. And the other habit stack that I'm trying to stack is setting your weekly goal. You have to set a goal every week and then figure out how to achieve it. So 
I'm gonna try to do the two of those and I will let you all know how that goes. I'm not gonna hold you all any longer. Just remember that the best type of wallet to have is always gonna be a wealthy one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and don't forget to put down below what you all would do if you paid off all your debt. I'll have another question for you all next week and until next time, guys, peace.